Hey guys, EZDevify back again with a mod review, a mod tutorial if you will, and it is on the module force field system mod. It works great with Industrial Craft 2, actually it's made to work with it, because you need EUs for it. It adds a bunch of blocks, projectors, generators, and everything, so I will show you how to use it. Now you can just place down your generator core and try to hook it up this that's the generator core by the way I'll show you here it is generator core and try to hook it up to the an MSFU which I have MFSU which I said which I have here and I hooked that up to some high voltage solar arrays to get power quickly and it does not seem to work. What you have to do is get one of those, which is an MFFS EU injector. This is how you make it right here, and then it's fairly easy. Refined iron, electrolyzed water. And before I do that, I'll just show you how to make this as well. and that makes the generator cool. So what you're going to have to do is place that down there and you see it hooks into that and then you put that there. But now you're wondering why isn't it charging? Well first of all it needs a redstone charge and there you are. It's charging perfectly. So you can see here there's a transmit range, there's a linked projector, there's none and there's a transmit frequency. So the transmit range should work. It, an 8, and that means that if you're 8 away, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you can place a, uh, area projector. And you're going to need to add power to that, so I'll just give myself some levers. And nothing seemed to happen. Well, because first of all, it isn't linked to the generator core. So what you need to do is make a MFSS card blank. You can make that by paper surrounding an electronic circuit. And I'll also show you how to make this. It's pretty expensive. Diamonds, frequency, frequency transmitter, electrolyzed water cell, and a two electric circuits. And that makes the area projector. So what you're going to need to do is make one of those and place it where on the MFFS generator core. And then you get a frequency card. It doesn't work. And then you place that in there and voila it makes a shield around you and what and it goes four blocks around you so you can dig down and then if you do that it's gonna be there there are a few other types of um, let me just get four more of those that should be enough There's four type. There's different types of these. Actually, I didn't need too many. There's a directional projector. Place that. Um, you 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 also can use a uh, industrial craft wrench if I can find it in the there we go to adjust where it goes. Turn it on. Nothing happens. Oops. So then you put that in there. Turn it on. Woohoo! That goes up there. What it, the, what the directional projector basically does is makes a beam up. You make that by like this: advanced alloy, electronic circuits, and everything. And it faces the way you put it. So let's put those away. So you can make it farther away. 
so that would be like that. And that's basically all it does with this one. So then there is also the deflector. Which you put in the frequency card. I'll take that off. And it charges up with the with the charge of that. And then you can change it. Wide X, wide Z, let's put it too high, and bam. It pretty much makes a deflector shield. You can uh, put it certain directions. Say I wanted it over there because there's some creepers and everything over there. And that would do that. Oops. And then there's also the tube projector. Nothing happens until you put that in. And then it makes a tube. Look at that. Nice little tube. Except this one you can dig under. Which isn't that great, but it just makes a tube. You can mess with the statuses. Make it, let's make it a really big one. Uh, four. And that goes up really high. So those are the basic projectors. And then you have, and say you accidentally, let's throw that outside of the range. Let's reposition all this stuff. You accidentally put your tube projector out of range. It doesn't get charged. So what you would do then is you would get a range upgrade. You would take it. Oops. See the range is, transmit range is that. And you would put it um, right next to it. And then a green light would come on and it'd be connected to the generator core. And then you'd see the range would go up by eight. It goes up by eight for each one. So then, when you put that in there, it works. Okay, now I'll show you some of the upgrades you can have. Um, uh, camouflage upgrade. What you do is you get diamonds and everything like that. And, um, hold on. Air projector. Okay. And you hook it up to one of those, and then you get that. And then it turns colors. So then you get that, and shaboom. It changes to some weird type of thing. So then you click on that, and you would get, say, a marble block, maybe. No. Not a marble block. <laughs> say you wanted to be a, be a really big bum butthole, and make it... Look like diamond blocks. Shaboom. Now your thing looks like diamond blocks. So. <laughs> or. Diamond ore. And then people would mine it and be like, what the hell? So, that, that would be a fun trick to play. So then another upgrade is the dome upgrade. You make them by that place it right there. Same settings on that. And it looks just the same, except that it does not go down. It stays where it is. It just stays at ground level. Which is really cool. And that's basically the dome upgrade. And... 
Then there is also, I'll put the stuff that I did over there, already over here. Um, okay, just give myself a little bit more organized. Oops, I'm gonna throw them down. And then there's also the block cutter upgrade where you connect it. Uh, okay, I'll just show you how to make it real quick. Make it with carbon plate, advanced alloy. Place it down. Block shows up. And what it does is it cuts down to the range so you're surrounded. So you can go down. For me, it's just bedrock because I, uh, I'm on a super flat world. So that's what that does. It cuts through the blocks. You can do it for any projector as well. So I'll, I'll let you guys think of that one. And then there's also the underwater upgrade. You make it with the bucket in that. This one's really cool. Say you have... Water. Let's see if I can find it. Um, there's water within the range of your thing. Watch really closely. It destroys all water blocks within the containment field or the shield. So you can have your fancy underwater shielding system. Oh yeah, and another thing this can do is make it a sphere. So it would be a sphere instead of a cube. None of the other ones can do that. But the cube allows for more space. Okay. So then you have the zapper upgrade. I'm not sure if this actually works. Uh, how this actually works, I mean... Uh, no. Well, I'm pretty sure you just connect it to your containment field, and that didn't work at all. Maybe it has to be for the, uh, there we go. has to be for the deflector shield. Tube projector or anything else. Uh, let's deal with the deflector for now. And you want, and you place that on top of it. Uh, hold on, let's mess with the settings a little bit. Five, five, three, four, five. And it turns red, and it hurts you when you walk into it. Ow, ow. And you still can't break it. So say if you're one of those people who wants to keep monsters out of your house like most most people want to. Just throw those down there. Who cares about them? And this is how you make it with a Tesla coil and advanced alloy. Alloy. And directional extender nuclear reactor container. Okay. This thing basically expands how much power you can have. So you place it on there. I'll show you without the power. Only uh, 10 million? Yeah. Place that on there. Get 12 million. Whoops. So that's what that does. These is the directional extender. That just basically makes it so it can <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh so it can be wider. 
Um, that would be a problem. Yeah, take that out. It can be whatever. The, uh, shoot. Oh. See? Widens it. And you make that by all of that stuff. So, I'm going to pause the video and make myself a little reactor containment area. So you can see what these are, even though, actually, no, those aren't important right now. I don't know how to use them. So overall, this is a great mod. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And maybe later when I experiment with the reactor containment stuff, I will actually um, I will actually make a video about it so let's get off by showing you that my mod pack does not have a mining laser oh there it is so let's go off by showing you how much this stuff can take. Normally this would break through blocks like they're nothing. But look at that. Nothing at all. You can't shoot anything. Watch. I'll shoot everything around here. So, let's actually... I don't like villages. So this is how we'll go off. This is a, an addition to the IC2 mod, I think? The mining laser. It's very, very cool. Watch this. No one likes those old villagers. They always get in the way. So just use your mining laser and kill them. Get another one. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch my other ones if you did. And I will make more tutorials on how to do stuff. See you guys later.